All right, I just saw A Wrinkle in Time, and I want to talk about it. Just four months too late. This is the film that had all sorts of hype leading up to its release. A uh, great trailer, cool cast, an interesting idea. It was an adaptation of a novel, but it was it's a cool concept. Um, and then it bombed horribly. And it was one of those that I was kind of on the fence about. Um, because of the trailer, I wanted to see it. But if the reviews came out and were awful, I was going to wait until it hit Redbox. And they were awful. So here I am, four months later, reviewing it after renting on Redbox. After watching the movie, I got to say, I think all that hate is pretty well warranted. Um, I didn't like it much at all. I thought it was extremely, miserably boring. Um, I was distracted on my phone in the middle of the movie. I never do that, but I was just so uninterested in what was unfolding. It was just kind of weird. Um, all the story beats were there for um, a fun, otherworldly adventure. Yeah, different, unique locations and planets, colorful characters, time jumping, um, but man oh man it just all fell so flat and was so poorly put together I think that it's just nothing built you know from one scene to the next nothing really built as uh, one of my favorite reviews to give boring movies is things happened and then it ended it's exactly what happened in this movie and even the emotional beats that you expect from quality Disney pictures um, it's undercut in a couple different ways in this movie one would be the inclusion of a topical pop song to correspond with whatever emotion you're supposed to be feeling in the movie it's plugged right into the movie it just like instead of reading the characters in the in the in the moment to to get an emotion out of it the movie's like hey, you need some help with that emotion here it's, there's a song that talks about uh, loss like directly into your ears that's what you're supposed to be feeling right now it's like all right it's just cheap it undercut every emotional potentially emotional moment in the movie and was just eye rolling. And the other thing that I think cheapens the overall message and theme of the movie is just how sickly sweet and sappy and ham-fisted the movie is about drilling the message into your head. And the message is that love is the key to everything. Literally it's the it's the it's the missing piece of the formula that causes this guy to transcend dimensions and it's it's they just keep telling you too like yeah, maybe if you could figure it out for yourself like oh I get it love 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 but instead they tell you straight to your face um, multiple times about how great love is it reminded me of the uh, the moment in Interstellar when Anne Hathaway's character was like maybe we should decide on our new planet based on love because that's unquantifiable and it's some baloney like that and everyone simultaneously rolled their eyes in the theater um, and it's the same way in this movie except for it's the whole movie constantly over and over again and building a little bit more off of that I think this film kind of contradicts the point of another very popular and beloved film for me um, from Disney Pixar uh, Inside Out Inside Out tells you to not be afraid of sadness or anger or disgust you, you're a complete person when you have all these emotions swirling inside you you can't always be happy 100% of the time sadness is a part of life disgust, anger, it's all a part of life you're a complete person if you have all these things bouncing around inside your head and then a Wrinkle in Time seems to tell you that anything besides um, pure happiness and light is the worst. Don't let it in. It's the worst. It'll corrupt you. And I just, I just, don't, I don't agree with uh, that sort of sentiment about it. And being this being a family film, you know, kids are watching this. Uh, I think they're much better off watching Inside Out um, for that kind of lesson. Not to mention that's an incredibly more exciting and interesting film story than this one. Um, so I just don't think there's any reason to, to watch this movie, to be honest, for anyone. Unless you're maybe into like uh, 
fashion and colorful movies. This movie has that in spades. But any kind of real substance for adults or children, I think, it's devoid of that. So, there you have it. Totally understand why I got all the hate it got. Um, I'd give it like a 42%. And the only reason it gets that is because it is colorful. If you don't care at all about the, the message it's trying to deliver to you, uh, then maybe you can have fun with it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm full of crap. Maybe it should be a 0%. But anyway, yeah, did not like it at all. Uh, I don't think it, anyone should watch it. Unless you're a Disney purist, you gotta watch all the Disney stuff that comes out. <sighs> yeah, what a dud. See ya!